for the gluteus medius insertion. Uh, here was the minimus, the medius is a bit more dorsal and the angulation of the fibers are a bit more angulated than the ones of the minimus. So this is more or less the angle that the fibers will attach onto the lateral facet right here. And we're gonna take a look first in short axis and then in long axis. We start again at the same point on the femur. We go up, 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 till we find our important landmark in the middle, which is the bony eminence right there. And then everything lateral to that. I'm going more lateral now. And we go a little bit more cranial. Then we see with him there's a tendon coming in between. So all this is the tendon, as you can see does a little internal external rotation a bit you see that the tendon is moving together with the bone and this is the iliotibial tract above it and that stays in place yeah so sometimes in a static image it's uh, difficult to see you just do this trick and you see that everything that's moving with the bone that's all tendon tissue okay so this would be the short axis view of the tendon now we want to go into a long axis view as i said it's, it can be quite anterior like this, in his case, it's not so much interior. So we're gonna see, once I have the image, as good as I can, like this. You see with him, this is the angle I'm uh, scanning. Uh, and you get a very nice view here of the tendon coming up. And the tendon is inserting here. This looks a bit like the supraspinatus, same sort of image, uh, and it stops there, the tendon. So this is the insertion of the gluteus medius, the anterior uh, bundle, and you uh, you check there also for um, for pathologies like uh, muscle tears or or tendon tears, uh, bursitis perhaps or um, uh, uh, tendinopathy. Good.